YouTube, this is Star Strike Duels, and we're here with Kelvin Silva at the top 16 um, at ARG Las Vegas. Now, what place did you get overall? Uh, seventh place, I went 7 1 1. My only loss was Dalton, and I force tied against John Hubbard. Oh, okay, and what deck were you playing? Radic Ruler. Radic Ruler. Uh, why did you choose to play this deck for the event? To be honest, it's the only deck I know how to run efficiently. Every other deck I suck with. Okay, uh, you want to show us what you ran? Yeah. Um, three Tefnuit, three Aset, three Suit. And a lot of people only run one six star, I run two six stars because there's so many situations. There's too many situations where you need the second six star every single time. And then I run Corsesca, that is Darkness Metal, and the Dragon Rulers. Okay. So that's 18 monsters. They're all really good. And then I run nine spells, main deck MSC, Planter, Dragon Shrine, and you know, Necessities. Um, so I, li I like the main deck MSC, I know a lot of people don't choose that. Why the Magic Planners? Uh, I thought they were good, but they turned out to be the worst card in the world, and I sided out every match after Dalton. Like, my only loss was to Dalton, and th this is the worst card. Okay. I just can't believe how bad it is. Just imagine a hand with all monsters, all spells, and Magic Planner. <laughs> That's what I drew. And then I have Seals, Trap Stun, this is the best, best card. This is the best card. Right, if you open Skill Drain or Trap Stun, just pre be prepared to win the game. And uh, why one Phoenix Chain? Oh, this is weird. Um, with this, I was thinking like I didn't want to pay too much life points because I had that I had that problem with when I ran like two song warning, three song warning. I never wanted to pay more than two thousand life points in a game for a card because every time you keep paying, it makes it so much easier for your opponent to win. And, you know, there's cowboy, there's black ship of corn, there's so many random things that could happen to you. You don't want to keep paying away your okay. life points. That's okay. So like, yeah, life points are actually utility in this game. And uh, why Mirror Force over any of the other staple traps? Well, if you think about what's like meta right now, Mirror Force uh, counters both the two meta card, uh, meta decks, which is Fire Fist and Mermails. Okay. After, you know, they only have two marksmen. After that, you know, Mirror Force is pretty much always live. Okay. And after uh, Goyoku's gone, I mean, they, they save MST for my skill drain so I can Mirror Force their monster. All right. So that, that's pretty much why. So other than the Magic Planners, is there anything in your main deck you want to change? Uh, I would take these out. This is only good with Magic Planner. Okay. I never liked it. <laughs> my, my extra deck, um, very hard to make an extra deck with this deck. It really is. Like, you can you can have like an hour of Thurio and and you would be like still confused on what to extra deck. But I finally got this as my extra deck, and I didn't have a problem with this extra deck at all. Okay. And Four eight stars, um, three six stars, and uh, one two three four seven stars or rank sevens. Uh, you said you want to talk about a little bit about Master of Blades. Oh yeah, this this card. Uh, round eight, I played against Fire Fist, and really my only play was to go into a rank seven. If I made Draco Sack, I would have lost to uh, Honor Arc Knight, and if I put it in defense, I would just lose still. So um, I made this, and he couldn't do anything. He asked me like, he asked me, oh, can you lance it? Uh, yeah, you can lance it. Uh, if I chain, uh, will, it, will it stop it? You can chain, but it's gonna activate twice. It's not once per turn, so. It's actually a really good card to go into when you have two Dragon Rollers. I mean, ga game it's really hard against uh, Fire Fist because you know how Fire Fists are like they're trying to one for one you down to have nothing left. So you gotta when when you make your play, you gotta make it such a big push that they have to like fight to come back. When you're in that position, it's always it's always way harder on the Fire Fist player because then they're like rushing to go to Honor Arc, they're rushing to go to Exiton, and then you just get, you know capitalize off that and you'll win all the time against that matchup. All right. And then you want to go into your side deck? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, there's no explanation for the synchros. Like, you guys should know why the synchros. My side deck, I have Quackimero, Electric Virus, Swiss Scarecrow, Double Maxi, Double Ferret, Dark Hole, MST, Book, Enemy, Mind Crush, Skill Drain, and Fairy Wave. Okay, um, what would you say was the MVP card in your side? Fairy Wave. Fairy Wave? It won, um, my, the Fire Fist guy was at 1500 left, and he had like a face up Soul Drain, Tanky, Tanky, and Venus Chain that was already uh, gone. And I had a face up Skill Drain, and I draw this when he was at 15, I was at 45. So I just, I was like, he's like, did you draw a monster for game? No, I drew Fairy Win for game. Um, oh, and um, I noticed you have a lot of one of so what was your uh, theory on that? Well, like, I always need an out to Evil Swarm or the Mirror Match. Like, Evil Swarm, Evil Swarm is a very, very, very difficult matchup. Like, that's auto-win for them almost. Mm -hmm. But um, I always need to run this card. 
I don't know why. I guess because it won me in top eight at uh, St. Louis. And I always run this card because of Zach Leverett. And I run this card because it's not good if you have Maxi and nothing to draw. So I, I don't even run Baylor, you know, so I have to draw something with uh, Maxi. And these are... I don't even know what to say. Like, these, these cards are like... It's made for a dragon deck. Yeah. And then Dark Hole, you know, Mermail. Um, this goes in every time. I don't know why I didn't mean three. And this this is normally my main deck, Book of Moon. But because I ran Magic Planner, I don't want to have Magic Planner and Book of Moon. That's just a bad combination. And then Enemy Controller is for Mermails and Heretic Ruler. And I don't know. Sometimes I, I side based on the player. I don't really side based off decks. And Mind Crush... Really, I thought it was only good against uh, Mermail, but it's good against Ghost Tricks, I, which I faced round one. And then the third skill drain uh, for there. Fire Fist. Okay. So did you like your side deck? Yes. I, I don't know what I would take out. I, just the Book of Moon, you know, and yeah. make it something else. All right. And uh, is there any shout outs you want to give? Yeah, I want to give a shout out to Star Strike Duelist, even though she's the one giving me this, because she was really nice to me. And we went on a group chat and stuff. And I want to give a shout out to Azan. I want to give a shout out to who else did I promise? Sorry, I forgot you. I really did. Oh, yeah. Ian? Hey, Ian. Uh, shout out to Dalton Bowsman for losing in top four. I really wanted him to win the tournament. All right, and are you happy with your results in the tournament? Yeah, I can't believe. Like, I, I went into this tournament thinking I wouldn't top, and I broke my expectations. All Played right. out of a lot of bad hands. Um, and what's your YouTube channel so people can go check that out when you start posting more? Um, well, for now it's going to be Different Dimension Gaming. That's what I'm going to be posting on. Okay. But I have like I have a Kevin Silva Now channel that I'm working on. It's not complete yet though. Okay, so go check out those guys. Um, all right, is there anything else you want to say? Yeah, Samantha, you better be prepared for a lot of dislikes because I have a lot of haters on YouTube. And I have I a lot of lovers. Yeah, guys, just remember to be nice. I mean, like, you know, I'll just, I, if anybody's really mean, like, I don't like it when people are, like, really mean no matter what. So try to be nice, guys, in the comments below. But, yep, uh, here's the ARG circuit. There's, like, they're just finished, like, playing pop. And, stuff. and did you show the map? Yeah, top the map's really nice. There's only 16 of these, I heard, like, Jim didn't print anymore. Yeah, so they're really nice, too. So it's, like, chips, poker chips, or March 15th. For Vegas, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, guys.